Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, Windows channel and this is um, another observations video of uh, you know what I've been seeing, uh, what um, uh, some of you have been sharing. Also, uh, we will have a few videos um, later today on different ways to upgrade in case uh, one way doesn't work, like for example uh, the Windows Update way. Um, and also my personal experience of um, what's going on, how it works, uh, and uh, little minor things that I've seen. So here's the um, second part of my observation. So yesterday I had my first part, I told you how. My 50-inch TV uh, desktop computer didn't want to upgrade, it was stuck, and so on. Um, basically, for myself, I've updated my uh, three computers it worked fine and uh, my desktop on my 50 inch TV the way that it uh, got fixed for me was to install it via the USB thumb drive instead of uh, through the uh, media creation tool option of upgrading within Windows and uh, that worked fine and completed the upgrade works great now, um, it's interesting because there are a few things that I noticed. Um, I've noticed, for example, the Microsoft Edge browser uh, seems to have part of the problem that I was talking about in the Insider Preview. So, for example, here I'll you know, open up a few, uh, uh, a few tabs and, um, of course, we'll be checking that out. If I click here, it asks me, do you want to close all tabs? And I'll say close all, and nothing happens. And if I do that, oh, it did now. You see, just because I'm posting a video. Uh, it didn't at first. And so I closed the tabs, and now I had to use the task manager to close Edge. So there's, there's a little glitch in Edge there. Another glitch that I found is when you go to YouTube, and you, you know, I go to YouTube, of course, all the time because I post my videos. I've noticed that there's a sluggishness in YouTube on the way that uh, when I write text, for example, in this description, uh, there's a sluggishness of um, uh, also in uh, the way the videos appear. There's kind of a delay in uh, the video playing that wasn't there before. Uh, apart from that, a lot of you have been saying uh, that extensions don't work. Let's just try it here live. Get extensions from the store. Let's just take, uh, I'll take the translator extension from Microsoft and see if it uh, works well. Um, so, you know, there are a few things that I noticed. Another thing that I've noticed also is uh, in the Wi-Fi, I did see a little bit of instability. Uh, disconnects, slow Wi-Fi, stuff like that. See the extension page isn't really coming on right now. Uh, so you know, there's kind of a few glitches that I see in, in, in the uh, anniversary update that are minor in the sense that, um, I mean, I can live without, you know, with these problems and I have Chrome and Firefox installed so I can use another browser. But, you know, apart from the sluggishness on YouTube, by the way, uh, Edge has been working fine for the other websites that I go to. Now here, extensions seems don't... Oh, here they are. It's slowly coming. So that's the home page. Uh, let's just recheck extensions. Um, so no extensions. It's not... You see the page with extensions is not appearing right now. So it, it, there are a few things like that. Uh, some of you say that the uh, extensions themselves don't want to install. So um, now I, I can't try them because uh, I'm not even getting to the page of the extensions. Uh, as for the Wi-Fi, uh, like I said, there was a little issue. What I did is uh, I removed the uh, network adapter in the device manager. So I went here and I um, went to the device manager to um, remove or uninstall the Wi-Fi. So basically I went to the device manager I went to the um, adapter for um, my uh, here network adapters. I removed, so I clicked the uh, 
Wi-Fi and uh, removed it. That's interesting. This is all changed. There's something happening here. So anyways, I uh, removed the wireless LAN by right clicking on it. I clicked uninstall. I rebooted the computer. So what happened is it saw that there was something not installed and it reinstalled it. That fixed my Wi-Fi. I got no issue since then. Apart from that, for the rest of the system, everything is all, all right. You know, everything's fine. I haven't had any issues, no errors, no blue screens. Uh, things are working correctly. So um, there are a few things. Now on the, the edge um, tabs that sometimes don't close, it's, it's universal. So I would guess everybody has that because I got it on all three of my machines. It's not like it's something unique to this machine. So I guess Edge might need some kind of update to make it a little better. Uh, I will be using the Feedback Hub to um, talk a bit about Edge and things that they need to, to kind of fix uh, because I do see that. So for the rest, um, you know, okay, extensions aren't working. But, you know, it's all centered around Edge. So there's, there's definitely a little something around Edge that's happening. Uh, for the rest, everything is okay. I haven't had any issues. Um, everywhere I go, everything. So um, I'll be um, later today posting um, videos on how to upgrade from different ways. Also, I'll be posting um, some videos of features of the anniversary update that you can check out. And last but not least, uh, according to Windows Weekly, Paul Terod and Mary Jo Foley were mentioning that uh, even though the anniversary update is over uh, for free upgrade, uh, sorry for Windows 10 free upgrade, um, it seems that if you have a product key, Windows 7, Windows 8.1 or Windows 8 product key, people have been mentioning that today they are still getting Windows 10 free upgrade. Um, what they think is that maybe there is a kind of a little delay because Microsoft said, oh, well, you know, for those that had problems in the last few days, we'll extend it just a few days without saying it to anyone. But uh, be warned that if you try it and it doesn't work, it might already have been stopped or it might stop anytime. We don't know. Um, that's for sure. So uh, basically, for the rest, like I say, everything uh, works fine. I mean, um, quick actions, everything. Uh, one thing I have to mention, and a lot of you have mentioned that, uh, also I got to say, it's not a glitch. I didn't notice that all my icons, everything on my screen was bigger than it was before I upgraded. So if you upgrade and there's a change in the um, ratio or in the way that you see things on your screen, uh, I readjusted. I went to the, um, you know, to all the parameters by uh, clicking the display settings and all of that. I've changed uh, the size of my screen. I've changed a few things to uh, because it it basically um, was kind of weird and uh, wasn't right on my screen. Even the start menu was weird. So, and that happened, that is universal also. It happened on my desktop, on my laptop here, and uh, also on another laptop that I've upgraded. So, uh, a few things, a few glitches here and there, uh, but uh, nothing that big, actually. Um, and um, from the reports that I see on the web and on the channel, well, um, you know, half of you, uh, half, the majority of you seem to upgrade well. Uh, there are glitches, and that is, you know, it, it's like that. I, I find it funny, you know, people post stupid comments like, well, there's a problem, so I'm going to Linux, or, uh, oh, I think I'm going to buy a Mac, or it's like, you know, these people are probably people that didn't even upgrade, didn't even do nothing. Uh, it's just, you know, uh, some people trying to, you know, make trouble here. Uh, yes, it's true that some people have problems, of course. Uh, but, you know, don't make me laugh with comments like that because when Mac OS X, for example, upgrades, there are such a number of people that have problems upgrading their Macs. It ain't different. Uh, it's just, you know, a usual thing that happens to a minority of people. Um, you know, no wide, no wide reports of any problems, basically. 
So, um, you know, when that happens, that means that there's no major problem or major flaw in Windows 10 upgrade because the majority of people seem to have upgraded just fine. So these are more, a little more of my observations. Um, anniversary update videos coming up and um, also a video about um, upgrading. If uh, one method doesn't work, I'll show you a few different methods to upgrade your computer to Windows 10 anniversary update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and hopefully you'll come back to my channel